Hey everyone, we have got a treat for you today. Uh, I've been kind of postponing doing this hike until it's more green, there's more scenery. Um, until the spring when it's more green on the trees and you can see the views better. Uh, this is going to be Carver's Gap, which is on the border of Tennessee and North Carolina. Um, you can see kind of the highlands up there. That's where we're going to start hiking. We, you have to walk up the hill a little bit where we parked. There's parking all down the road. Um, most people try to park closer, but it's packed down there this time of year. Very busy, uh, very fun to hike here. And it's on the Appalachian Trail, so the trail actually goes, um, if you're walking up the hill from North Carolina, it goes to the left, away from uh, Roan Mountain, and then on the right, up Roan Mountain. And uh, we're going to be walking three peaks today with beautiful views, open views all the way around. This is probably the best hike in the area, in my opinion. So this is going to be a treat today. Got my wife with me. She's going to be hiking too. Um, and we're going to get started here soon. We're going to walk up the hill from the parking area and, uh, and get started. So I'm excited about this one today. I think we're going to have a lot of fun, beautiful views. So let's get going. So we had the coolest experience we've had yet hiking around here in, the, in Tennessee. We met a through hiker. His name was Brian and his trail name was Rambo apparently. He's a veteran and uh, took six months off to hike the trail. He was telling us about his experience from Springer Mountain up through here. Luckily no snow but really cold and he was just soaking in the views on this mountain. This mountain range today, he said it was one of his best days. He was feeling great. Right on. Both of you guys come, come on trail. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So kudos to you, Rambo. Hope you make it. I know you're gonna make it to Katahdin. When you're standing on top of Baxter, don't forget you met a couple people from Maine. Good luck. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to 
make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of took his last trip up the mountain today, friends and neighbor walk softly the way. I cannot think that he is there, my eyes will lift to find him where. The wind blows free in grass and tree, bury me top of the road, he said, and, and though they tell me he is dead, there's doubt in every tone. We laid him halfway to the top, but somehow I think he didn't stop. He's still in his own adventurous way, unafraid, confident, searching and gay. Sarah Cannon Spell, March 1964. So as you can tell, I was not joking. The whole three quarters of the walk up here, you're walking that ridge view after view after view, uh, and then you get here. There are 360 degree views on each of those peaks. I think when you get to this one, obviously it's the highest. And if you stand on the rock right over there, you really get, honestly, clear mountain views. And this isn't just mountain views where some are grassy, some are high rocky mountains. You're talking all the way around. You see the Smokies, the Smokies all the way, all the way. And then in every direction, you see mountains. And the highest mountain range toward back where we came from, Johnson City, it's just the highest peaks all around you. And you could see I mean, the, if you look far enough and if you squint your eyes, you can see in the mist the mountains that keep going on and on and on, just far into the clouds. So this is one of our favorite spots. We've got little birds. Anyway, there's wild, some wildlife. A lot of the vegetations like this with the with the brush kind of scraggly brush there's evergreens um, scattered throughout one side of the mountain when you start coming up if you look back evergreens cover that side I think probably because of the shading of the Sun but um, I really hope you enjoyed this hike this is like I said our favorite we come here at least 20 times a season if not more so we're gonna head back now it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon the clouds are starting to come in, so probably a good time for us to head home before it starts sprinkling. So, gonna head down the mountain now. I hope you enjoyed this hike. I hope that if you are anywhere within driving distance of Carver's Gap, that you make the trip out. You can't go wrong. It's so beautiful. 
So I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Please subscribe. It'll just take a few seconds, click the button down below. I'm trying to bring the highest quality hiking videos to YouTube, and that means I'm gonna show you maps, trail highlights, all the best views on the trail, any good picnic spots, any wildlife we see, um, all in 4K high quality video. And we'll see you on the next hike.